the very first snakes put out on exhibit at the Serpent Center. Coming up. Fangs in your face. Subscribe now. Hey guys, Willie at the Serpent Center. Um, this is kind of a special day for us. We're, we're putting our very first animals on exhibit, in the exhibit room. <laughs> and you're all probably thinking, well, it's probably one of the big Bushmasters or a big fur lance or a monster rattlesnake. And actually it's not. It, 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 it's going to be our little Mexican pygmy rattlesnakes, uh, little crowless rabies. And to do these exhibits, you know, you have to do an exhibit so the animal feels comfortable and it thrives. And I've got a procedure that I use before I put animals on exhibit. And I'm gonna explain that to you. So if you guys move animals out of, say, a quarantine room, you're gonna put them out on your little personal exhibit, I'm gonna give you all a little bit of hints on how to do it successfully, okay? So to start out, now this is gonna be the little Ravis exhibit. And we can have you, wanna come in a little closer, Dee? You can see I've got this now, now these are mountain species, and I've got, you can see it, you notice I've got a very high end here, okay? I've built everything up high, and this is their little, their little basking area. And I started with a 15 watt bulb, and believe it or not, it was too hot. I had to go to a seven and a half watt bulb for their little basking area, because with these little mountain species, you kind of keep them cool to make them comfortable. So, I mean, my little warm spot here is at about 78 to 80 degrees, and that's sufficient for them. And way down low here you can see this cage slopes the whole exhibit slopes down here it's in the low 70s it actually feels cool even down here and you'll notice i've got natural hides okay where they can get in there and feel comfortable and i've got one back there with that plant and that mule deer horn where he can get up under there and feel comfortable and i'll tell you now even though they have natural hides and everything to keep them happy and healthy when you're putting a new animal on exhibit, you're putting him into a brand new habitat, okay? None of his scent is in there. Nothing is in there that he's familiar with. And this is a big exhibit for two little crowless ravens, okay? For two little pygmy rattlesnakes. And what will happen is if I just toss them in there, they're gonna get lost in there, okay? And I know people have probably never heard that expression before. Well, how are they gonna get lost in there? Snakes, when you put them in something that's a little too big for them, they get stressed out and they get lost. It's, it, it, it's, it's fact, okay? So what I do is to get them comfortable in a bigger exhibit is I take their hide boxes that they've been using for years, right here, okay? I take their hides and I'll put them in that big exhibit and I'll leave their hides in there for at least a week, 10 days until they get accustomed and they start coming out on their own they quit using these and they'll start using these natural hides and then i'll pull them and then they're you know it's got a little bit of their scent down there still i don't wash these i put them in just the way i pulled them from their from their current cages okay and i'll spread them out and i'll always put them midway okay because if the snake wants to get warm he's going to move to the high end once it get cold he'll move to the cool end and this helps them acclimate to become more comfortable in this big new environment so <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and put our little Ravis in here. I got a snake hook up here somewhere. Here it is. All right, baby, you might want to back up just a little bit. These are some squirrely little guys. I've got one in a slide box here. We're not even going to do that. We're just going to open this up and kind of let him cruise on out of there, maybe. All right. Okay, we're going to. Doesn't look much like a pygmy rattlesnake, does it? It's kind of big. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. <laughs> there you go, you little booger. Let's get this out of the way. All my stuff is mean. I swear to God, everything I have is got an attitude. And it's because we don't, we don't interact with them. We leave them as natural as possible. See, that snake's already starting to crawl off. It's going to go right into that natural hide. But he's gonna go with what his smell is, what, what he's familiar with. He's gonna end up crawling into one of them other hides, which actually this is his hide right here. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and slide the female in there. go that way. They're chubby little boogers, ain't they? All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and close that up. All right, and another hint, um, another good tip on what to do when you're doing this, when you're taking an animal out of their cage and putting them on exhibit is, I always do this right before the lights go off right before the timer is getting ready to go off okay i do it right at dusk when it's going to get dark because these lights are going to go off in about 20 minutes okay and the reason for that is because an animal feels more secure in the dark than new bright lights on it and an unfamiliar area no no smells it's familiar with nothing you know so what i do is i'll put their hides in there i'll put them in there right before dark when the lights go off, let them go ahead and explore this cage, all the new scents, all the new crevices and hides, and let them become accustomed to it in the dark. It kind of helps a little bit. But you wanna go ahead and get up close, babe? All right, so let's go ahead and lock her down, right? <laughs> and I'll tell you, with these, with these cages, with these exhibits, we went through a damn nightmare with these things because we were supposed to get locks, custom locks for these things, right? And of course, we never got locks and we got put off and excuse after excuse and lie after lie. <laughs> and, that's, and it got to the point where we had to, order our own locks, 400 bucks for these, because they had to fashion them special to fit this exhibit, to fit these exhibits because of this cross member bar, which is outstanding, it holds a lot of the weight, but the glass is so close to that thing that you couldn't just buy a regular jeweler's locks and put them under because none of them would fit. So they had to make special cross members to fit in there with the tamper-proof locks, which we got the best locks possible. They're secure, I mean, they're, never going to be tampered with but and then to get them all keyed the same <laughs> so it was a nightmare and with the lighting also i also had to go in which we're still doing and replace all of the light fixtures because the light fixture they put in them could not yeah you couldn't put a damn shroud on them they don't make a shroud that goes over these things these things are so old it's not even funny they're like for something to stick on a wall and put a light bulb in so I got to order new fixtures with the adapter that I can put a shroud on them where it stays in place. So just one thing after another, <laughs> of course. And I'll tell you, it, it, it comes with this. It, it, it comes with the trade, okay? With When you're opening a Serpentarium, all the little things that you don't think about at the moment are the things that come back and get you when you get ready to open and things that have to be corrected. So it's just more money, more time, but we're doing it slowly as we can reel in the money. So, and getting the money and getting the time to do it is just, you know, it's just life. So you do what you can do, you know, but we're on our way, we're close to opening. Just a few more things gotta be done. A few more exhibits gotta be done. And um, look at our little our little pygmies, they're, they're cruising. Actually that male, he's already investigating her. He's like, I don't care where I'm at, I smell 
a female in here and he's been bumping on her for the last couple minutes <laughs> he's already on her <laughs> that's that, that's funny but the lights will go off here soon and they'll be all over here exploring this new habitat and getting familiar with it and that's what that's what they need to do and they'll use them highs tonight there's no doubt in my mind the female immediately bolted right to that naturalistic hide which is a good sign but they'll go to their smell so they feel comfortable like I said, seven, ten days, I'll pull them high boxes and they'll be solid. They'll be good. Then we'll go ahead and offer their first meal in the new exhibit. And that's it. So, but I'll tell you, um, this has been fun. It, it, it really is. For me, designing exhibits is the funnest part of opening and, and, and doing this. It really is. It's, it, 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 it's just something that I love to do. I love making a natural looking exhibit. It's something that you, you really got to think about everything that you do in these exhibits to make the snakes thrive. And when you're putting snakes on public exhibit, you can't put a hide in there where they disappear and they never come out because that's what they'll do. They'll get in there and they'll stay in their hides and people can't see them. <laughs> so you, they got to be able to be viewed. So you got to really consider all that while you're building an exhibit so you got to make naturalistic hides where people can still see them and the snake is secure it feels secure but just some little tidbits for you guys if you got your own cool exhibits at home or your own little private exhibit room you know just the way i do things it's been working for me um you know this ain't my first rodeo at a serpentarium so <laughs> it's, this is our, our the first one that we own outright but I'll tell you, um, it's it's going to be outstanding. We can't wait to open. And um, if you if anybody wants to sponsor an exhibit build, or if anybody wants to um, sponsor an animal, email us. I mean, we can always use more sponsors, right? <laughs> because this is a pretty pricey adventure. But uh, we're looking forward to opening and meeting y'all in person. Anyways, this is Willie from the Serpent Center here at Venom Central. We're checking out later. <laughs>